Hi guys, this is Talon. He's making his debut. Hello. It's my pizza. It's been a long time, I know. Woo! But I'm back. So today's look is it's gonna be this kind of um, neutral, um, bronzy, kind of copper, uh, blue brown eye. I can't just do plain neutral colors, so I always jazz it up a little bit, and with this I use some crazy contacts. And I just want to um, state one thing in this video before we get started. Um, I'm not trying to be a bitch, but one thing that really grinds my gears is when I state something in the video and you guys either A, disregard it completely, or B, just don't watch my video. Um, it gets on my nerves when I state it, state something, and you guys still leave it in the comments. If you do that, I'm just going to completely ignore it because I've already said it in the video. It's just, it really gets on my nerves. I'm not trying to be a bitch, please. I love you guys, you know that, but sometimes that just gets really, really irritating when you have the same questions over and over and over and over and over and over and over, and you have already given the answer, so. I just want to get that out there, and I'm not trying to be mean. Okay. Anyway, so let's move on to the happy things. You guys like my makeup? You like to know how I did it? Keep on watching. Alright, as a primer today, I'm going to use Beijing Shade Stick from MAC. And it's just going all over the lid area. And now as a base, um, I'm going to be using a red color. This is just a red gel eyeliner. Looks like that. Sorry if my colors are getting washed out. I don't know. My lighting's acting crazy. So, um, taking a little bit on my finger. I'm just going to pop that right on the lid. And do you notice how I'm applying the base? I'm tapping it onto my lid. Because it's kind of sticky and you don't want to be tugging at your eyelid um, that much. And when I do that, it pats it out and it almost blends it for me. Next step, I'm going to take a fluffy brush. This is um, a Sonia Cat Shook one. And I'm going in with Max. Going in with Max Texture Eyeshadow. It's like a soft, kind of orangey brown. It's right there. Getting a little bit on my brush, and I'm going to go apply that in my crease. About that much. It can be messy. It doesn't matter. I'm taking a big fluffy brush. This is a MAC 224 brush. And I'm just going to really work that into my crease. Really. So I'm just going to really get in there and blend it out. So it's a nice sheer kind of wash of color. Alright, just soften that edge up a little bit. I'm taking a big fluffy brush. This is a 227 from MAC. That's going right along that, um, that edge. Just make sure it's a nice blend out. And it's okay if you, like, um, it's okay if you remove most of the color because you can always go back and reapply it more. Now I'm going to leave my crease alone for a little bit. I'm going to start working on my lid. So... So I'm taking um, a small shader brush, it's the MAC 213, with blue-brown pigment from MAC. Pull that from the brush. And when I work with pigments, I always use it from the cat. You're not going to want to keep dipping your brush into all that pigment, because you're going to get a lot of fallout. It's going to ruin your foundation if you've already done your foundation. And also, it's just easier to use from your cap. So just take some. If you don't have too much in your cap, take, press your brush into the pigment. Take it. Dust it off in the cap. I don't like to blow on it, because that spreads germs. And, um... Just apply a little bit at a time and always you can always build up the color. And I'm supplying this blue brown pigment to the to the red base that we just applied. So I'm a little shaky. I've had like too much coffee today. It's been crazy. I'm going with a little bit of Max Red Brick eyeshadow, which is that one. Red brick basically is orange with a little bit of a red um, tinge to it. So I'm going to load up my brush and I'm going to apply this to the outer part of my crease. A little at a time. I'm going to apply it there and I'm going to apply it up into the crease. And this is going to help that blue-brown pigment fade out. And then just softly blend. The look with the key to this look is blending. I'm not, I don't have too much definition in my eye today. It's mainly just a nice blend of colors. I'm going in with Max Vapor Eyeshadow right here. It's just a highlight color. Um, it's a slightly more pinkish kind of tone, so it's going to work well with these orangey kind of colors and um, these orangey colors. All right, now I'm taking Max Espresso, which is just a, a brown color, like a deeper brown color. I'm going to put this right in the inner part of my eyebrow. I'm doing that contouring thing I always do. All right, like that. Now I'm gonna use a little bit of a highlight in the inner part of my eyes. So I'm taking Max Dazzle Light eyeshadow. 
I'm using a lot of a matte eyeshadows today, so. Just a little bit of a golden uh, base, which is a mixed gem pencil in gold. I just lined it underneath my eye and I'm blending it out. Alright, and then I'm taking Max Courage eyeshadow and placing it right on top of that uh, face. And I'm also following it out just like that. Eyeliner in what's this one called? Nighthawk. Um, this is one of their dual eyeliner thingies. I don't know when this came out. It's been in my drawer forever. It's a dark, almost black brown pencil, and it's really, really soft and creamy. Um, you're able to um, like move it around pretty well. And I'm gonna add that to my waterline. It's super creamy. All right, and now I'm gonna flip the pencil around, and I'm gonna use front row. It's basically a peachy color eye pencil with a lot of gold glitter. And basically when you apply it, all you see is the glitter. So I'm gonna apply this all along the eyeshadow. But I'm gonna mainly focus it on the inner portion of my eye because I have um, tons of glitter right there. And then I contoured, and I added a blush to my cheeks today. I used Raisin Blush from MAC, it looks like that. I know, but it's kind of messed up right there, I broke it. And then further, like, inward towards my, um, apple of my cheek, I used MAC's Mighty Aphrodite Blush. And then as a highlight, I used my MAC MSF in Champagne. Looks like that. Um, I've had tons of these MSFs in my drawer forever, and I've just spring cleaned basically everything, and realized I never really used them because um, I never really like to shine on my face but now I just love the glowy dewiness so I've been using them and rediscovering my MSFs lately um, and then for my lips is my favorite thing I have found ever it's a little sample but it's Kat Von D's Cathedral lipstick if you're about an NC30 to NC35 this will be the perfect nude lip and that's it hope you guys liked it bye